Hello bloggers, all three of you. <laughs> We're getting there, I've got another one this week. Um, welcome to Richard's Home Mechanics. Um, as you would know, or if you see my previous blogs on Facebook, I'm also on YouTube. Just look up uh, Richard's Home Car Mechanics on YouTube and you'll see a few little tips I've put on there. Um, what I've been doing, I've been working on a combo van that I got as a non-runner. The engine was basically stuffed and the com rod had come out the side of it. So basically what I've been doing, I've been in the garage repairing it and um, <clears throat> sort of making a good engine out of two. So let's have a look what I've been up to. By the way, that's the battery that come out of the van. Uh, I've done a drop charge on it. Um, put me meter on it and that's holding charge. So that's going to save me a few quid. I'm going to use that. Uh, with a diesel, you do need a good ampage. And what you do on these, I don't know if you know, I'll just let you know about batteries. Behind the ampage, the more cranking power it's got. So if you've got a 90 ampage hour battery, that could officially, that's cranking out 90 amps of power. And if you've got a 70, it's less power. So, you know, the more high ampage, the more power and that will keep turning over. So in plain, in layman's terms, the higher the ampage on here, that's only a 60, which ain't very big really for a diesel. So we're gonna see how we get on with that. That really needs to be an 80 or a 90 now, I would have thought for this, but um, hey oh, we'll see how it goes. That's parts of the van. I've been repairing these. This is one of the uh, rear brake hubs. Um, I've replaced all the springs. This is an old one, but um, I've replaced all the rear. So there you go. So it's going to be a crafty, uh, spot on little van when it's done. And it's going to be a nice little van. It's going to be up for sale. There you go. And it's not going to want a lot for it. I just want to, you know what I mean? Here we go. Right, let's go and have a look what we've been up to outside. As you remember, uh, I said in my last blog, the Comrade had come out the side of the engine. And what it done, this is the original radiator, and I'll flick it over here. What it done, the comrade had come out the side of the engine and gone, poof, straight in the side of this radiator. Here we go. And we have got very, as you can see, it's browned up there. So you can see where it's been leaking. Well, it did leak big time. So obviously that is absolutely stuffed. Um, I was very lucky. Um, I did the old flea bag, flea bay. And I managed to relocate a breaker that was breaking a combo uh, at Missley, the other side of Colchester, a lot Harridge way. So I nipped in with my daughter. I took my daughter Amy with her, and um, we did a welcome to Dad's world. And I took her for a little tour around the scrapyards, and I think she liked it. Well, she told me she liked it. I'm not convinced, but um, I'm trying to teach her the ropes. And um, she's at uni now, trying to be training to be a social worker. I don't think she's really interested in cars or mechanics, but uh, AO, it's worth a go. Might have better luck with my little Katie. Here we go, so basically that's stuffed. I bought another one and that is now fitted in the van at the moment. I'll put that in during the week. Hey presto, here's the engine. This is the engine that um, come with the red van. As you remember, I uh, bought another van, two vans nearly back to back. Now this engine here um, was just literally a block. What I've replaced, I've replaced the EGR that come off the old engine which is sitting there, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, brake servo pump, that was replaced, that was missing. Uh, fuel pump was fine. Um, turbo, here we go. There's the turbo. I have tried it. That turbo is working okay. I've span the fans around in here with the fins. That's working fine. Um, what I did do, the other engine had a knackered clutch. Um, what I've done, I've got, I've actually got a clutch here. It may look used, but I have used the tolerances. I've checked the tolerances on these um, clutches, and they're well within tolerance. They're well within tolerance. So I'm going to pay out on a new clutch. I'm not going to pack a new clutch, and there's plenty of wear. This hasn't been in that long, I can tell by like, by the wear of it. So I think they put a clutch in and then realised there was a problem with the engine. So um, the little bit of rust here is where it's been just sitting up, because old mate, he left this engine um, in the garage. I know people say, oh, when you've got the engine apart, you know, you should put a new clutch in. No, I'm not going to put a new clutch in. Um, there's still plenty of life on that. Um, that's going back in. I'm not going to pay out £200 for a clutch when I don't need to. That is fine, and I'll guarantee that will work. Okay, what we're going to do, I also have to put a starter motor in, that's been replaced, I've put that in, luckily I've, I'm starting to accumulate a few spares now, um, let's spin this engine round on my little engine crane, alternator's gone on, um, and here we go, all the auxiliary belts, that's all done, um, I've turned it over, um, before when I got this engine, if, if, uh, I did mention before in my previous blog that it was um, ice locked, you know it was locked up. Uh, managed to free it, it wasn't really seized, it had been sitting around for a little while. I've turned it over, I put a little bit of WD in there. Well actually what I did do is I put um, diesel oil in there, 
in the um, I'll show you diesel oil oh, let me help ah these are I took out the um, here we go the, the glow plugs and what you do in these glow plugs you put a little bit of diesel oil in there leave it for a few days let it soak in and it freed it and it freed quite easily so I'm quite happy that's gonna go you know once she's in there I'll fire her up now this is the original engine this is the engine that come out of the van now I've stripped it all of parts manifolds come off oh yes I've got the side plates and manifold and uh, what do you think of my little engine trolley I found that uh, where I work just dumped in the rubbish ideal couple of planks on it it means I can move the engines about when I'm working on them um, absolutely spot on I'm well chuffed to that yep well done with that as you can see um, in my last one of my vlogs how to get the uh, crank pulley off that come off by using heat a little bit of heat on my blowtorch that come off also I've uh, relocated the water pump from this one and that was um, was non-existent on the other engine but someone obviously had been stripping it what else we got here here we go um, there we go again we'll just show you the engine that is absolutely knackered there's the there's the uh, crank there's the crank there look right in there that's the crank and this is the engine it's exposed this is where the comrade actually blew out the side of the engine so I wouldn't have liked to have been anywhere near that when that went because I'll tell you what that did do some damage it also smashed his so smashed the radiator up big time here we go so that's basically the engines there we go so basically I've got the engine on the hoist ready to drop in uh, what I want to try and achieve today I want to get that engine in and at least one of the mounts on and I might even possibly get the gearbox mounted but I just want to get the engine in once the engine's in I can just plod along at my own pace as and when I want to or when I want to and uh, zip this all up and give her a fire up here we go let's have a look what's going on here there's my bench again my homemade bench uh, my father-in-law made that brilliant you know so he's bending over when you're working on motors or vans or anything just bring it out there put your tools on the top Bob's your uncle you're away there you go and here we have the engine compartment again that engine will be going in there in half an hour I'm just drinking a cup of tea and I will hopefully get in there I'm gonna wipe up this we had a bit of rain today today it's Saturday morning I'll be mopping it up so I ain't gonna get wet Comfort is the name of the game. Don't mind getting dirty, but I don't like getting wet. Here we go. So hopefully that engine will be dropping in there today. And um, once she's done, I'll get her running and I'll give her a good old clean. The brakes have got to be done, obviously. So there we go. That's my blog for the day. I will do another blog. Thank you, you bloggers who are actually watching my blogs. Yeah, I do appreciate you, all three of you. Um, you know, tell other people I, I can do tips uh, if they want and um, have a nice day and I'll speak to you soon see you later bloggers see you for now, bye